This is the new Nike Air Zoom Viperfly Track Spike. This shoe was designed specifically for the 100 meters. However, the new technology used inside this shoe has once again raised a controversy on whether Nike athletes will have an unfair advantage or if the integrity of the sprint is under threat. Released in tandem with the new Nike Alpha Flies, this track spike was made with one goal in mind, to increase running economy in shorter sprints. Utilizing a new carbon fiber plate method called custom fiber placement, this shoe will allow for varying levels of flexibility while providing higher levels of responsiveness and energy return. Also, let's be real, these track spikes look pretty dope. In a similar fashion to previous Nike releases, analysts and runners throughout the world have one question, can this shoe increase overall sprinting performance by 4%? A few years ago, Nike unveiled the Nike Vaporfly 4%, which was estimated to increase running economy by a full 4%. If this improvement is possible, American sprinter Christian Coleman would be able to run a 100 meter dash in 9.32 seconds. And using the same logic, Noah Lyles would be able to run an 18.87 for the 200. In a recent interview with Usain Bolt, who holds the world records in both the 100 and the 200 meters, he expressed that a 9.32 or an 18.87 in any spikes would not be easy. But how realistic are these times, and will the new Nike Viperflies provide the same improvements in the sprinting world that we've already seen in marathoners? First, let's understand exactly how the Viperflies work. Again, they will use a new carbon fiber plate but they will also include a new Atom Knit Upper, which is a new version of the new Nike Fly Knit. These new uppers were designed to maximize heel lockdown while minimizing material and overall weight for the shoe. However, the most compelling new development is the novel propulsion cushioning system, the Nike Air Zoom. This innovative technology is quite amazing as it uses highly pressurized air and extended fibers for a quick spring-like return to its original state. This technology actually dates back to 2015. However, this new cushioning system, along with the carbon fiber plate, combines to create a paradigm shift in sprinting shoe technology. Currently, the 100 meter world record is 9.58 seconds, which was accomplished by Usain Bolt in the 2009 World Championships in Berlin. This performance has been completely unchallenged for the past decade, and while Christian Coleman has been improving over the 100 meters, it would take a tremendous leap forward for Coleman to get anywhere near Bolt's records. This world record is truly one of the absolute best in the history of track and field, and based on all performances since 2009, I do not believe anyone has a chance to approach this record, even with emerging shoe technologies. However, the 200 meters is a slightly different story. Again, Usain Bolt holds this world record, which he also set in the 2009 World Championships in Berlin. In the 200 meter finals, Bolt absolutely obliterated the competition with an unreal time of 19.19 seconds. This world record has also stood for over a decade. However, in 2011, Johan Blake from Jamaica ran a time of 19.26 seconds, which is quite close to Bolt's world record. Indeed, 19.19 was a towering achievement for sprinting, but this world record could realistically be under threat because of one sprinter, and that sprinter is Noah Lyles. What Lyles does so well is continue accelerating through the later stages of the race. This has proven to be Christian Coleman's biggest weakness as a sprinter, but Lyles is truly a master of sprinting relaxation. In his 2019 season opener, Lyles managed to outsprint Coleman, who was tightening up drastically while Lyles continued to relax. Another advantage for Lyles is his continued improvements through his sprinting years. Since 2013, he has continued to improve every single year in the 200 meters, with 2019 being his fastest year ever, as he became the fourth fastest 200 meter sprinter of all time, with an amazing performance of 19.50 seconds. This time actually beat Usain Bolt's meet record, so perhaps he does have the ability to run under 19.19. The Nike Viperflies will almost certainly aid in sprinting performance, but they will have no influence on running form, and that's why I believe Noah Lyles has the best chance at taking down one of Usain Bolt's tremendous world records.